the most overrated and most over, <laughs> over decorated and currently, currently, I am the most over berated actress <laughs> who likes football of my generation. But that's why you invited me here, right? The weight, the weight of all my honors is part of what brings me here to the podium. It, it compels me. It's against every one of my natural instincts, which is to stay the fuck home. <laughs> it, it compels me to stand up in front of people and say words that haven't been written for me, but that come from my life, from my convictions, and that I have to stand by. <laughs> because it's hard to stand up. It's hard. I don't want to do it. I don't want to be here. and I want to read and garden and load my dishwasher. <laughs> I do, I love that. It's embarrassing and it's terrifying to put the target on your forehead and it sets you up for all sorts of attacks and armies of, of brown shirts and bots and worse. And, and the only way you can do it is to feel you have to. You have to. You don't have an option. You have to. Stand up. Speak up. Act up. And we Americans have the right to reject the imposition of unwanted religious practice in our lives. We have the right to live our lives with God or without her as we choose. There's a prohibition in this country against the establishment of state religion in our Constitution, and we have the right to choose with whom we live, whom we love, and who and what gets to interfere with our bodies. As Americans, men, women, People, gay, straight, LGBTQ, all of us have the human right to life and liberty and the pursuit of happiness. <laughs> and if you think people were mad when they, came, they thought the government was coming after their guns, wait till you see when they try to take away our happiness.